Hello friends, this is Ashirwad here and in this video we'll uh, learn how to start with uh, coding in Python. So in the earlier video we learned how to uh, install Python on your computer and how to install additional modules. So just open this application called as idle which is there in Python installation folder. It's right here. Click on idle. Now before we begin we need to understand one very important thing that uh, there there is a style of coding in Python. So when we are talking about the very basic uh, technique uh, then we have to understand that uh, a code can be written in Python in two ways. First is called interactive mod and the second one is called the script mod. Right now the environment in which we are working is called interactive mod. Or in other words, you can say uh, when you open this idle application, you are by default in interactive mode. So what does this interactive mode mean is that you you are given this prompt and you can type one command or one Python statement at a time. So to test this uh, approach of interactive programming, you can type any simple statement which can be understood by the Python system. Uh, this means that you can type any statement or any command here on this prompt where my cursor is currently blinking but that statement should be correct, syntactically correct. So for example if you write 5 plus 5 and press enter it will give you 10 as the output okay because this 5 plus 5 as a, as, a, as a single Python statement is syntactically correct. You can also use the print command or the print function to print different outputs. So since it's a function you need to write everything inside these round brackets. Okay. So 5 plus 5 again and as you can see it gives you the same output. Notice that every time you type a statement you are given the output and then you come back to the prompt. Again one statement its output and you are coming back to the prompt. Okay, So this approach is called interactive mode in which you type one statement at a time and you get the instant output. Okay, Now when you explore the print function in detail you have to understand one very basic thing that what else it can do okay so for example I just need to print a message hello on screen so you have to type it in single quotation marks like this or you have to type it in double quotation marks so you get the same output and python is so flexible that you can even type this in triple quotation marks okay like this or you can type this in triple double quotation marks or whatever you want to call it it should work the same way so basically whatever you write inside the quotation marks either it is single or double is considered as a string type of value okay you can assume that a string type of value is nothing but you know characters okay so what about this print statement can you type this in single or double quotation marks and can you still get the same output let's see so print five plus five and note that i have written this inside 
single quotation marks so the question is that should I be getting the same output 10 here well the answer is no it prints 5 plus 5 as it is so this is one very important thing that you need to understand that the print function prints whatever you type inside the brackets first thing and second thing is if you want to print anything as it is you must enclose that thing inside the single quotes or double quotes or you can even enclose them in triple quotes if you want it will appear in the output as you have typed but if you want to perform any calculation like what I did here okay you have to make sure that you are treating the values as numbers okay numerical values so you don't put them inside the quotation marks only then they will be treated as a uh, as numbers so 5 is a number the second number is also 5 so two different numbers and in between we have an operator plus which is supposed to add these two things as numbers fine now to talk more about it you can say print single quotes 5 plus single quotes 5 so what output should we get here can you assume see uh, the first thing here is a string as I told earlier the second thing is also a string so first thing first they are not numbers so what happening here is the first string is going to be joined with the second string okay we technically call it string concatenation in Python programming so when you press enter key the output should be 55 and it is 55 so this operation is called string concatenation and to be more realistic you don't usually concatenate numbers like this you concatenate the text type values for example if I want to like concatenate my name with my surname then it will look more logical okay and of course for having space you can either give a space after this D and before the this uh, closing single quotation mark okay or you can give a space before this M it works the same way or if you don't want to give spaces here you can introduce a space as a second string in between these two values and then concatenate this with the next string as you can see so here we are concatenating three different strings where one of them is a space of course so space is also treated as a as a string value here so you get the same output so this is all about this uh, video in which you saw how to uh, deal with interactive mode how to type code remember one more time that in interactive mode you will be able to type only one command at a time and you will see its output instantly then the prompt will appear again and you are you will be writing the next statement so that's it for this video i hope you understood the concept if you like the content please comment like and share and do subscribe to my channel thank you